Hey everyone, I am back with my linen closet organization part two. I am completely finished. Super excited to share with you the final result. Oh, I do have one last step left that I'm gonna tell you about. So um, let's stop here, let's stop. Let's start here at the top shelf. Um, way up there in the back there, I have another one of these fabric uh, containers. Uh, bins that I found on eBay. I got six of them for $27.99. They took about a week to get here. So um, if you're somebody that just has to have them right now, um, then you're probably just going to run to Target or Walmart or whatever and pay a little bit more. But I went ahead and waited because I felt like that was a really good deal. So up in there, I have, remember, this is the area that I was least pleased with. Now, I didn't get everything to fit in there. I still have pillow shams and another bed skirt. I have another sheet set. And I have some other shams that go with another uh, king set that we have and like our dirty travel bag. Um, and this one here, I do need to get out my chalk uh, label to, and finish. That's the final step that I need to do. Um, but I wanted to show you anyway. In here I have my hand towels and washcloths that I get if I, when I have guests. So I don't need to access that too frequently, so I put it up there. I have my little sewing kit, batteries, my 3M hooks and organization kind of things. I have some craft stuff and nail polish that I rarely need to get into. Then my next shelf, I have four of those dark bins. I initially uh, wanted to get cream ones, but these were kind of the next neutral that, that we have. So over here I have three sheets that go for when we cover our couch. Or actually two, and there's one on our couch right now that we need to, or whenever we wash, we'll still have some extras to get out. This is um, washcloths and bibs for when the new baby comes. This is the Dyson stuff that was all disorganized. This would be the one thing that I'm still wondering if I might find a way to try to put it into um, my hall closet. Over here I have... Um, Oh, my wipes. All my wipes that were in there, they fit in there great. And then I have a shelf for just our towels, for um, our bath towels. Right now there are four. We have three hanging up. One that I'm using, one my husband's using, one my son is using. We don't get a new towel every single time. Um, I feel like we're drying off a very clean body. So <laughs> once it dries, you know, for the next day, then it's good to go. So there are three hanging up. Then I have four, five, six, seven. So that's about two per person. I feel, if anything, I might pick up two more, but that would be it. I really don't feel like... There needs to be a bunch of them sitting in here at all times, but for guests and things like that, a couple more would be nice. There were some that were um, kind of raggedy that I um, promoted down. It's promoted down a word or de demoted down to um, dog towels for downstairs. I have four beach towels here or swimming or boat towels or whatever you want to call them. And um, last year Kohl's had a really good deal and I bought 10. Um, there's a couple downstairs that are drying. There's a couple, a few that are ready to go in the swim bag right now. So they were a really great deal and they don't take up too much space on there. Over here I have um, some more of like the hooded towels for my daughter, a couple of like extra blankets in there, and her crib sheets. Oh, this one I did get labeled. It's um, for baby. It's crib, bobby, and boppy, and pack and play kind of things, like my boppy liners. So, and I really like that these ones compared to my cuter ones down there push all the way back. And since these are so light, they're not going to make the um, shelf bow. Then on the next shelf, I have paper towels, which I'm ready to do another huge order of, and I need to bring up some toilet paper from downstairs so that we'll have another stock here, but that definitely won't take up that entire shelf. Down below, I still kept like my Swiffer and my hard floor cleaner stuff just in a plastic tub, mainly because the one on the bottom, which are kind of the uh, wet replacement wipes, won't fit in one of the fabric bins, and then the other thing would still be pretty tall. It just wouldn't all fit in there, and I think it's just fine like that. Then down here, I have these labeled, because I, I did them already because I had them. So these are all like swaddle blankets and... Um, yeah, just all swaddle blankets. I have the pillowcases. Remember I said before that I keep pillowcases separately. So I have king pillowcases on one side and then ones that would fit just a regular um, pillow on the other side. And this has come in great handy. Um, the other day my son accidentally had an accident in our bed because he was just having been watching a movie in there and fell asleep. And um, so all I really needed to do at that time was grab a couple pillowcases and a fitted sheet. So it was really nice to come in here and be able to find them. And then in this bin over here is just our king sheets. So one last bin that I would like to have, and especially if I decide to move um, my Dyson tools to another container or into that other closet, 
um, I need one for my son's sheets. Um, right now he just has one set. We wash them every week and that's that. I would like for him to have two sets, especially once school starts because in the middle of the night, if he has an accident, which he very rarely does, then I would still like to have a one more set for him. I got rid of a ton. I think we had four sets for our bed. Four sets, which is just absolutely ridiculous because if anything, you're going to have one on and one that you are, you know, washing. So um, there are two in there now and one on our bed. So I was able to demote down to just one. And then there's one in there right now that I'm kind of like, um, once this year rolls around, I'll probably go ahead and demote. <clears throat> so to give you an overview, we have the top shelf, which is being completely utilized. The second shelf has four of the dark bins being utilized. This shelf is only being half used with our towels. And then we have um, this shelf again, half being used with the beach towels. This shelf will probably half being used with paper towels and toilet paper and then the bottom area completely being used. The reason these are at the bottom is because they do get heavy with king sheets and so many towels and I just really don't want our shelf to be bowing. So anyway, I really have more than um, purged 50% and reorganized more than 50% because I've, I'm using three and I have, you know, well, at least one and a half left, if not more, because these could all be condensed down to just maybe one shelf even or two. So I'm super excited. If you are out there and you have a linen closet that's similar to this, I highly, highly recommend the fabric brands. I love the vertical organization that it's giving. Um, I still do like containers like this for other items. I don't want a huge container that I'm just dumping so many things into that I can't find. So I do still really like them. But, and I'm fine with my towels just being folded. They're easier to grab. They would not ever fit in um, a fabric tub. But I'm just fine with them being folded. I really considered having out um, hand towels and washcloths. And I had a cute little stack of them up here. But it just looks so much nicer. And I don't have to worry about them falling over. Or my husband folding them weird. Or looking weird. Which, I mean, isn't a huge ordeal. Hey, my husband does laundry. And he folds towels. So that in itself is completely something wonderful. And nothing to complain about. But anyway, I am super excited. I know we're hoping to move in a year or so. And I feel so cleansed that, you know, when that time comes, that I'll just be able to, you know, pack up this closet and know that everything in here are are things that I definitely want to move with us and that um, I won't need to purge at that time. And I think somebody coming in looking at our home would open this linen closet and think, wow, this is a ton of storage. And, you know, it just looks nice. It looks like a place like you'd say, oh, I'm totally going to do that too when we move in. And, and look how much storage it give you, gives you. Where before I think you would have looked at it and said, oh my gosh, this house is bursting at the seams. We will totally outgrow this house. And, um, you know, if you're just having a couple kids, this house is more than perfect. So anyway, I've rambled on enough, but I'm, <laughs> I'm just super excited. I'm feeling again accomplished. Um, I'm kind of in the process of doing the same thing with my daughter's closet, and I will have those videos up for you soon. And I hope you have and enjoyed these. Um, I hope you're enjoying your summer, whatever it is you're doing or wherever you're going. And as always, take care.